What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bar Exam on the Ethos Media Network Patreon page. So that means that we're going to get to the real Yes, yes. Let it off because shit went down this week, okay? I don't know if anybody noticed a little thing like Diddy's house is getting raided or like the Nickelodeon drop of the, the doc, I mean. Like, just so many things... So many people getting exposed, or at least people are attempting to expose them. Let's start off with the most hip hop of the conversation, the Diddy thing. Like, it, it's been on the news. I know that this, you know, gets shown a little bit later. Um, but I know that when everybody remembers the moment where they got, like, they look at their phone, they open social media, and they're reading something about Diddy. Uh, his house getting raided, his plane being somewhere, him being in Miami, his kids getting cuffed. Shit is getting real, but you know, Shane, what t tell the folks what you were thinking because Shane didn't seem too surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, when when multiple people are making allegations uh, of a sexual nature against you at the same time, you know, we, we had the Cassie situation. Um, you know, there was that uh, that guy, there was a producer who basically sort of said the same thing, like he was pressuring him to have sex with male prostitutes and stuff like that or whatever. So, you know, and then we have to realize that this guy is worth nine hundred million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So he's almost worth a billion dollars. And when you have. Somebody who is uh, that powerful and there's multiple allegations against this person at that point, the investigation begins, you know what I'm saying? That's what I think. So, and the fact that he was so quickly willing to settle, you know, the Cassie situation. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I think he settled the situation with the gentleman too, with the, you know, oh. so I, I'm, I may be mistaken on that, but I'm, I believe he did, you know what I mean? So if you're settling all these cases, then it's like, you know, like we're the smokers fire, you know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not surprised by it. Um and it just gets into the weird pro the the weird proclivities that really, really rich people have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I heard a theory about it earlier. So and this is what I think all of all of them have in common. Cause I've been saying this ever since you know, Vince McMahon, you know, got in his trouble and with WWE and all of that. And then Diddy's going through this now. And you know what I'm saying? I've mentioned Adam and Lena getting weirder and weirder with the shit that they're doing on the Internet. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what, what do they all have in common? So I heard it earlier. And this this makes the most sense to me. So they say. When you're addicted to porn, you have to watch more and more severe porn in order to get off. You know what I'm saying? Like regular porn won't do it for a porn addict. You know what I mean? So it's essentially the same thing for somebody who has access to essentially sleep with whoever they want at any given moment. You know what I mean? That is their porn at some point. So it's almost like if you get addicted to sex, which is probably easy if you're rich and, you know what I'm saying, have access to, you know, women throwing themselves at you all the time and shit like that. Like, I could see a sexual addiction being a real thing that forms. And then how do you have to feed that? You have to get more and more extreme with your ex. You know what I'm saying? So then you get into, you know, and then there's other aspects of it too. Like there's the blackmail aspect because he allegedly used to film these wild ass parties that he would throw at his crib and then he'd have secret cameras all over the house and then he'd blackmail the rappers and what? shit. Like that. No, yeah. that's a real thing. Like people were saying like, they felt as though he had something on me. And I was like, no, y'all are talking I mean, that shit. You're taking weird snippets from clips, you know? But It wasn't even a clip. It was some paperwork that, yeah. that came out regarding something, like, legal. And hmm. it basically said, I think it had, it, this might have also been tied in with the, with the same guy who was making the complaint, you know, about Diddy saying, like, oh, he made me sleep with, you know, people or whatever. Like, cause he was saying that he made him watch porn with, you know, known people and stuff like that too. Uh -huh. So, um, I think that might've been tied in with, with that lawsuit, but it was like, it was a well-known rapper 
uh, from Philadelphia who used to date Nicki Minaj. Like, that's what it said in the paperwork. So it's like, that's me. Like, you know right. what I mean? I do remember you. What else is that? Like, that's so. why the internet was going crazy that day. Right. Mm-hmm. You're right. That shit is, it is just, it's so interesting really to see one, like, such a, a big figure in, you know, hip hop culture be, I guess, investigated in this way, especially about something like this, like sex trafficking. Um, but what's also interesting is seeing like the culture's response. Like, were were you guys shocked or just like, this is just the norm when it comes to black people? Because, how do I say this? Were you guys shocked at like the responses that people were having online? Like for me, I saw some people who were like, yes, fucking finally, niggas been weird. And other people were just like, mm, y'all just can't wait to tear down a great black man. Like, you know, and I'm just sitting there like, Ew. like it just seems like it's wrong to say anything. First, I saw a lot more of the first, um, of the first comment that you said actually of the, finally fuck this nigga get him the fuck out of here i saw a lot <laughs> more of that than i did of people trying to have his back on this one once once the once the feds raided his house niggas was kind of like damn that shit is real crap. like that's kind of yeah. the more of the energy that i saw yeah what about you shane what did you see